today I just wanted to have like a little bit of fun and uh, truth be told, much like all my videos, I wasn't really sure what the hell I was doing, but I actually really, really like the way this came out. And it gave me an excuse to use this thing, which is just a whole bunch of different pigments that, you know what, I loved it. Cause like, like look at this color, like, isn't it, it's gorgeous, but like when the heck am I ever gonna use it? The answer is never, cause I bought this like four years ago. <laughs> and if you, when you watch the video, you'll see that the color that I end up using is like, chuck full. One of these is actually completely empty because I spilled it everywhere because it's cracked. Um, so yeah, I'm a disaster, but this actually came out a lot nicer than I expected it to. So I'm really happy with the way it came out. I really wanted to do like a black smoky eye with this bright light color right in the center. So halo. Yeah, we're going to go with that one again. I don't know. I really like those now never used to do them and now I started this channel and I love them. So I did run into a couple recording issues in this video that you will see. Apologies. I actually recorded almost the entire eye and then looked at my camera and realized it had stopped recording. Actually, because of the setting I was filming on, it never actually started at all. So that was a lot of fun to see. I was only mildly ready to throw it out the window. You know. You just... If you have videos, you you know what it's like. You know how angry you get. But yeah, so apologies for the camera. I did my best to redo all of it. I am very, very happy with the way this turned out, though. I am gonna give it... I'm gonna give it an A plus in my book. I don't know about your book, but I'm taking an A+. Uh, this is probably the last video you will see these lashes in because they are getting nasty and I need to actually buy a new pair. So you're probably not going to see lashes in any of my videos for, for a little while until I get a real job. Because mm. you know, I absolutely love doing this, but money doesn't grow on trees. And I'm not making anything from this. I'm just making these videos because I don't have enough views. Eventually. Anyway, so I do hope you really like it. I was kind of going for like a rocker vibe, but you know, do it for whatever. You want to go to the club? Go to the club. You want to do this for prom? Do it for prom. Do whatever. No one's stopping you and I don't care. So. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to see a random video once a week as well as my Disney villain series and I will leave a link to those videos at the end of this video. They're awesome, I think, but you know, look who that's coming from. Um, but I'm really happy with those videos, so I definitely want you guys to check those out. There's going to be a new one of those for at least five more weeks. I think that's what I determined, because I have one, I have two up now, and then I have three... It should be around like five more weeks, give or take a little bit. So I will be posting new ones of those. Go give them a like, a comment, thumbs everything up. But yeah, so let's just get into it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Bye. We're starting off this look the way we do every other by priming the lids with Max Painterly Paint Pot. It's just gonna get rid of any of the discoloration and veins to make it a nice even base to apply. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set that with just some translucent powder. We wanna make sure these shadows glide on nice and evenly. And for my shadows today, I'm using only the MAC Nordstrom Exclusive Eyeshadow Palette, just because I don't get enough use out of this. So to start off, I'm taking Wedge on a fluffy brush and we are just completely blowing out the crease with this. We want this to go up pretty high, almost to the brow bone, not quite though. start deepening that a tiny bit using Coquette. And for 
the final touch, I use a tiny bit of mystery and really, really focus that directly in the crease, not bringing that too high at all. So we're going to start packing on our lid color right now. I am using Black Tide from the palette. And what I'm doing is just packing this all over the entire lid with a flat brush. And then I'm taking a fluffy brush and wedge, just making sure that that black is nicely blended out and isn't harsh in any way, shape, or form. magic mirror and just pack that all over that black just for a little extra dimension. And if by magic my eyebrows are finally done, so I'm just going to set the rest of my face with a little bit of translucent powder and then I'm going to go on to contour with the Kat Von D shade and light palette and then bronzer using Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer on a MAC 135 brush. that I want to stay locked in place all day as well as underneath where I've contoured just to really sharpen up that line.
that, I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of wedge and blend out just a tiny bit more because I wasn't fully satisfied with how blended out the shadows were on my upper lip. And then I'm gonna take a smudging brush and go back in with Black Tide and smudge that all along the bottom lash line. waterline I just wanted to open the eyes a tiny bit more the black was just a little too closed off for my liking <laughs> that's done I'm going to apply that bright beautiful silver pigment that I had showed you guys in the intro I unfortunately don't have a name for this because there is not a sticker on the bottom of it so I can't tell you what it would be but it is a gorgeous silver with a tiny hint of a blue tint in it and I'm just applying that directly to the middle of the lids as well as the middle of the bottom lid <laughs> gel lacquer liner in black as usual love this stuff couldn't love it any more than I already do so. <laughs>
all then applied my mascara, which is the Benefit Roller Lash, and then I'm just going to apply my false lashes off camera. And here I am dancing, because I listen to music while I record these videos. No, I have no idea what song this is. But I liked it, apparently. <laughs> Today I'm using Becca Opal, which I'm applying generously to the tear duct as well as the brow bone. everything away as well as remove the lip balm that's been sitting on my lips to condition them before I apply my lipstick. The blush I'm using today is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Between the Sheets. And the highlight that I'm using is once again Becca Opal, and I'm just taking that way along the cheekbones, a little bit above the brows, you know, the usual points. <laughs> step today's lipstick is creamy nude by Clinique I received it when I worked for Clinique last year and I've never used it but I thought today would be a good time to try it out so I this as much as I do let me know what you think in the comments down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you do like it and I'll see you guys next time bye thank you